Okay, so what we have here is my power supply and here is a asymmetrical Radio Shack motor. Here's an LED on the output of the motor and I'm pulsing it through this vortex coil and um, you can see the collapse of the vortex coil because this is also acting as partly an oscillator now. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and start it up. Uh -oh. So it works pretty well. And now we'll compare it to the regular symmetrical system of the unmodified Radio Shack motor. No radiant output, and we'll also see how well the radiant flow comes out on this end too. So we'll start it up. And it's not nearly as loud, and you can see this LED is like flickering. So it does work and uh, I'd say it works much better and uh, this, this thing doesn't get too hot I mean there's there's a lot of friction in this little thing because it's soldered but um, yeah asymmetrical motors do work and they work very well and uh, you can get a lot of radiant out of it which when we understand it we can use it to our potential <laughs> no pun intended thanks for watching